This is code.org, CS Discoveries. I am working on unit two of that, which is their web development unit. And right now I'm on lesson 11, styling elements with CSS. I'm on part two, exploring more CSS. Look through the web page below for new styles. Open the style sheet, okay. Well, this is our style sheet, right? So what we're looking at here, it's the HTML of our sheet. This is the actual styles to it. So this needs to link back to our index page or, our H or whatever our HTML page is, like we did in the last uh, lesson 10, we learned how to do that. How you do that is here, right? So we have a link real equals style sheet. That will always be style sheet space herf equals. And then this one is called style sheet. So that's what we write there. If I had named this Bob, then I would need to write Bob here. And so that's what actually is making this apply. So interesting. And then what this is, right, just to recall the body is whatever the tag is in here, that's what it's changing. So if I go here, the H2, that's referring to any heading that is that size here, H2 heading, it will change using this rule, okay? So this is called a rule set in CSS. So open the sheet, yep. What's making the entire page blue? Well, if we look at body, background color, light blue. I bet, I bet that's making it. So like I was saying, this is controlling the body for our index page and that's what's making it blue. How are images positioned to the left of all other elements? Oh, I'm not sure about that actually. Let's see here. Images to the left, hmm. Well, here's our image tag, so that must be what's if I, or our image rule set. So let's see what would. Well, this is left, so I bet it has something to do with float. What are making the image corners round? Well, we can kind of test here. I remember I think width controlled the size. Whoa, yes it does. Okay, um, border width. Um, border width is probably the size of the border, I would assume. Let's see. Yep, must be. Ha. Huh. Well, what about border radius? What if I do this? Oh, look, I bet that is then making, because if I make it zero, that must be what's making the image corners round. Neat. All right, so I guess we're going to be applying those in the next few levels. Let's keep going.